Is it really the end of Dolby Atmos? Well, in the last two years, we have seen many 3D audio technologies compete against Dolby Atmos. And some of the prominent names have been using a nomenclature called Special Audio. Now, Special Audio is not exactly Dolby Atmos, but it is very close to Dolby Atmos. And these are getting extremely popular. And that's the reason the question lies that whether Dolby Atmos is really under threat and could we see it dying soon. Let's discuss more on this in our today's video. Now, first things first, let's understand what exactly is Dolby Atmos. Now, Dolby Atmos is a 3D surround sound technology wherein you can have multiple amount of speakers according to Dolby standards, which you can place in your room to give you a great 3D surround sound experience. Now, this was when Dolby transitioned themselves from a 2D sound of 5.1 or a 7.1 and they started having high channel speakers. Now, these high channel speakers can start from as low as only two speakers. So 5.1.2 is the least configuration in Dolby Atmos and it can go all the way up to 24.x.10 wherein you can have 24 speakers on your wall surfaces. You can have X amount of subwoofers. So literally you can have any amount of subwoofers in the room. And lastly, you can have 10 speakers for your height channels. Now that's the maximum configuration that you can go ahead with to get your Dolby Atmos experience. Now the most prominent ones that we use in our homes can range between 5.1.2 all the way up to 9.4.6. Just like Dolby Atmos, which uses object-based audio setup, there are other brands which also work on the similar technology. For instance, DTSX is a very prominent name that you must have read and that also uses object-based audio setup. The second one is Eclipse Audio, which is now getting more popular due to the innovations and a free open source platform created by Google and Samsung together. The third one is Special Audio. Now, Special Audio, which stands for creating a nice Atmos-like experience, also works on an object-based audio platform. Now, while these can cause threat to Dolby Atmos in the object-based space, there is one prominent name which works in the channel-based audio setup, and that is Oro 3D. Now, in the past, we have seen that how AV receivers are coming up with maximum support for Oro 3D, DTSX, and Dolby Atmos. Because these three are recognized to be the big names when it comes to giving a nice 3D immersive sound experience. Now, these three technologies are prominently available in the AV receivers as well as in the sound bars. But in the wireless game, there is no end. And that is where these new brands or new technologies that have emerged in the last two years are really trying hard to make their mark. Now, all these other technologies which want to create their own mark in the 3D surround sound space, they are primarily driven by their brands. For instance, Samsung is working hard to promote Eclipse Audio with the help of Google by creating a free open source platform that they are promoting in their Samsung products. For instance, the Samsung TVs and soundbars are now coming up with Eclipse Audio, which offers to promise a nice 3D immersive sound experience. In the past, we have also seen Apple working with special audio to deliver a nice 2D content upscaled to a 3D surround sound experience. Now, all of these technologies are using AI and they primarily install or they use phantom sound to create that 3D surround sound. We have also reviewed one product which is called Sony Quad. Now, Sony Quad is actually a four speaker system wherein you install two speakers next to TV and two speakers at the back. Whereas they promise to give you a sound of almost 16 speakers. Now, where did the 16 speakers come from? Well, it is all phantom sound where the sound is thrown to certain areas it reflects back and gives you that immersive sound experience. This is how most of the other technologies are also working upon, wherein they can work fantastically well in a wireless space. But when it comes to wired game, there is nothing that can still replace the traditional systems like Dolby Atmos, DTSX, as well as Oro 3D. Because wired sound is always going to be more realistic, more closer to the real life-like experience while the wireless ones, I am definitely not arguing that they are not best. They are trying to be better and better one day, but still they are nowhere closer to the real speakers that can give you sound, unlike the phantom sound, which depends upon a lot of parameters and permutation. Lastly, to enjoy any sound experience, what you need is a good content. And in the content space, we all know that most of the studios are either DTS format studios or Dolby format studios. And that is why 
this reach of Dolby and DTS can never be broken for the next 10 years with so many content creators using Dolby as the primary tool to give you a nice surround sound experience. So most of the movies, the web series that we watch on OTT is always going to be with either DTS, Dolby and now with Oro 3D as well. But for the other platforms wherein you are looking to listen to music or you're looking to listen to a concert or you're playing a game on your phone, that is where I think all the other technologies like Eclipse Audio, Special Audio, MPEG Edge are all working together to create a nice 3D surround sound experience. So that's why I don't see Dolby Atmos really dying very, very soon. And Dolby Atmos will definitely stay for a longer time. Let me know your views and feedbacks in the comments below. And let us try to keep this discussion alive over there. While I, Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya, will bring in some more amazing content on Dolby Atmos or the other formats in the next upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.